Hello. Oopsie. Let's turn the light down a little bit. Hello. Let me get my laptop sorted. Hi, Rich Mitch. You hurrying me up, you were. Heather, it's a lovely 65 degree heat in Southern Illinois. How lovely. Right, let's oh, turn the volume off. There we go. Hello, everybody. Um, a, few, a few comments already. First, are you fuming? Yes. Rich, are you fuming? Oh, Barry's here. Hi, Barry. And Ben. Hi, Ben. I got your message on Instagram. We'll get that sorted. Dan uh, will put that whole thing together for us. So that's going to be really cool. Um, how now, says Rich. Brown cow, says Barry. Wow, we are so high brow now, brown cow. Heather's here. Hi, Heather. Um, uh, as usual, struggling with the comments. Right, um, DB70, Dave, hi Dave. Um, Rich says Boris is in intensive care. Um, yes, uh, I'm sure that we all wish him well. Um, yeah, it's all very weird at the moment. <laughs> Rich, imagine if he perished. Come on, come on. Um, right, okay. Hello everybody. So I've caught up with your comments. We're all good in the hood. I have had a couple of drinks. Um, I've been chatting with a friend on the phone, had a few drinks and felt like I'm not tired yet because I've just come off a set of four night shifts. So I'm now used to staying up till 7 a.m. So I was still quite lively and I thought I would just have a quick drink with you lot. So what is your drink of the night if you are having a drink or what is your snack of the night? And of course, what is your scent of the night? Mine is I can't actually remember. What was it? Oh, poison. Vintage poison here. Iris ganache here. Whispers in the library here. So what's your scent of the night? Um, oh, John's here. Evening, very late evening, isn't it? Very late. Barry's got a cup of tea. Barry with your panty droppers. When I saw, so, <laughs> Barry's video, best fragrances for panty dropping or something. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no way. So I clicked on it, kind of half thinking, no, he wouldn't, he wouldn't. Uh, it was hilarious, absolutely hilarious. Rich has got a can of Diet Coke. And Rich is wearing Dune Pour Hom. That's a Dior fragrance I'm not that familiar with. John Snow's got tea and Swede off endless happiness. Okay, I don't know that one, I don't think. And Barry's wearing raspberry vanilla by Pocket Sense. Dave says late night party style. Yeah, man. Uh, Ben's got Iris Prima by Pen Halligans. So that's his scent of the day. I'm so so on it. Yeah, I don't think I know that. I might have smelt it once, but I can't remember it. Uh, Fraser says, Heart, kind regards from Bonnie, Scotland. Kind regards, Fraser. And Dave is wearing Zaharoff Signature Pour Hom. Joss is here. Hi, Joss. Hi, hi Joss slash Jane. Jane Joss. <laughs> Who is happy to be known by Eva. But I'll always call you Joss because it came. it's the word that comes first. And David has got white wine, dairy milk fruit and nut. That's so retro. And is wearing Anouage Jubilation. Cleopatra is wearing Spirituous Double of Knee. Gorgeous. And Katrine's here as well. It says hello. Fraser's wearing Anouage Reflection Man. 
Uh, Joss is happy with just Joss and uh, Fraser's got a double vodka. I don't know how many vodkas I've got in there. Actually, I made this one quite light because my last few were a bit heavier, a bit heavier on the vodka. So this one's only got a little bit in. So there. So hopefully we're all smelling good. Heather says hello. Hi Heather. Oh, little noise escaped out of me then. <laughs> and Katrine's wearing whispers in the library too. So my whispers in the library is on this arm. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's becoming my most worn fragrance at the moment. My most worn of 2020. Love it. So then. Do you like my flat wall? Do you remember it used to be brick? It's flat now. Uh, Rich says, what's the weather like tomorrow? Anyone on that? Anyone check the weather? Is uh, Michael Fish in the building? So it was lovely today. I've got a bit of a, got caught some more sun. So I've got a little bit more colour on my face. Uh, Joss has got rain tomorrow. Fraser's sunny all the way. I haven't checked it down this way but hopefully it's more like today so that'll be good. Aftershave Dave is in the house. Hi Claire, hope you're all well. Just in from a late shift, luckily off for two weeks now. Nice one. Cheers to that. Rich Mitch says, John Snare, what's the weather doing tomorrow? And Katrin says, lovely weather in Oslo today as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's been gorgeous. Last three days? Yeah. Last three days here have been great. Loving it. Yes, very much so. Makes a wander in the forest. Forest? Woods. Very nice. Right then. Rich Mitch declares Boris fit to work. Okay. And John says it was great and miserable up north where he is. Where is it you are again, John? I'm sorry. I always forget where you, you northerners live. I know you live up, up higher than London where it gets grim and grey. Okay. So I'm going to smell some stuff. County Durham for John. County Durham. It sounds nice. Right then, I'm going to smell some stuff. So I got, quite a long time ago, I got loads of samples for, by Majda Bacali. And what happened, the reason that I got them was because I really wanted to smell Tule Tula because I'd heard a few different people talk about it. I think Lola Sense was one of them and a few other reviewers as well. And they talked about how it smelled a bit like marzipan. So... That got my attention because anything that smells like marzipan has my attention. Anything that tastes like marzipan has my attention. So I wanted to get a sample of Too Late Too La. And I placed a big order from Joe Voy Mayfair in London, going back now, months and months and months. And they didn't actually have any of the Majda Bacali range. So I sent them an email after I placed the order and said, is there any way I can get a sample of Tule Tula? And they said, we've got staff coming over from our Paris store in a few days. If you don't mind holding on, we'll try and get you one. Long story short, they didn't charge me any extra for the sample that I asked for. And they sent me pretty much the whole bloody range of Majda Bacali. So... Oh, all of those and there's more all of those they basically got everything and sent it to me with my order which was amazing because i only ordered samples it wasn't a big order so joe Foy paris no joe Foy london mayfair massive massive thumbs up they are amazing best sample source in the uk in my humble opinion now let's just catch up oh tammy's in the house hi tammy uh, let me quickly scroll back up. Uh, 
Jon Snow, further north than Watford. Yeah, anywhere further north than Watford is up north, as far as I'm concerned. Centralised Barry says so sunbathing down the park. No, I was in my garden and then I went for a walk in shorts. I got my legs out in public for the first time this year, apart from my, obviously, my bath live streams. But first time I got my legs out in the actual real world this year. Ben says, anything north of Camden is officially the north, where they have unusual relationships with whippets. Okay. <laughs> uh, David says, Sally Claire, don't insult us northerners. And uh, Tammy's saying, hi Claire, hi Tammy. And John says, uh, I'm a fake northern north man, Barry. I can't do the old vest and shorts in the snow. Okay, um, Ben says to Joe Voy, so good, Joe Voy are the best. And Joss says those are jumbo size, jumbo? Jumbo size samples. Yeah, they're big, they're proper um, big squirty samples. I like it if they're squirty. I think we all like a squirter, don't we? John says, we can't afford whippets up here. Just lumps of coal on a lid. Oh, John. Dave says, Joe Boy is a cool shop, very good with handing out samples. They are amazing. They're amazing if you go in real life. They're amazing if you deal with them online. They're just the best. Robert. Hi, Robert. He says, are we on the night shift tonight? No, I wouldn't stream if I was working. I couldn't do that. I would get myself into trouble for that. No, I'm off now. So I finished this morning about half six, seven o'clock this morning and working from home so literally I was just working at that desk over there and it was really I just something about working from home on a night shift and I was way more tired than I ever would be at work really weird really hard going actually but I slept till what one quarter past one this morning this morning this afternoon I slept till about one half one this afternoon and I feel pretty good now I'm trying not to stay up too late because otherwise I won't be any good for my day shift uh, on Thursday. So I need to turn it around now. Um, and Robert says, good evening to everybody. Dan Spanos, still working, but wanted to pop in to say hi. Hi, Dan. Dan Spanos, I am going to message you tomorrow about a concept, an idea that I have. I'm not going to give away too much right now, but I'm hoping you might help me and you might be happy with me sharing it in your Facebook group. So I'll speak to you tomorrow about that. Uh, Heather, glad you get to work from home. Yeah, it's so nice. I got my cat, I can pick her up, give her a hug and a cuddle. I got my fridge, I got my freezer, I've got my oven. <laughs> it's not all about food, of course. Um, and it's just nice to be home yeah it's nice not, and it's nice not to have that journey home at the end of the shift 12 hours is a long time then to have to drive home yeah it's nice yeah the slog home now is literally walking upstairs it's brilliant uh, JC Russell is here I got a new cologne what did you get what did you get uh, Robert C told you just on there's squirting I'm used to paying for these channels well, you know, you can pay. I'll, I'll let you know my PayPal details, Robert. Uh, Barry, what's Facebook? Yeah, Barry, this concept I've got, it, it will involve you as well. So uh, we need to know how to contact you. Rich has got a pain in his left bollock. Let's all send him healing love. Uh, JC Russell is wearing Eternity Calvin Klein. Dan says, goodbye everyone, sorry I can't stay. Bye Dan. Gary, hi Claire, hope you're good and well. All good here, thank you very much. And uh, Barry says, I like Eternity, used to wear it back in the day. I just saw a video by, who was it? Angel Lately. Angel Lately, if you don't know, she's a really lovely uh, fragrance channel. And she was talking about Eternity Intense. For women and said it was really nice and it has violet in it so I'm kind of curious to try that one now has anyone tried it Joss you're quite good with the 
uh, designers and the older, it was, I don't think it's that old, it was 2016. Joss, have you tried it? Eternity Intense, let me know. Um, uh, Joss says she loves her. Yeah, Angel Lately, if you don't know who she is, go check her out. She's really nice. Uh, Heather's wearing Batito, Batito, Batito Dally. And Joss has not tried the Eternity Intense, just the original. Yeah, this, so the original was one of my signature scents when I was younger. I, I did love it, I really did. And I really kind of, I'm curious, I saw a 15 milliliter on eBay for about a tenner. I was so tempted, so tempted. I, I might, I might get it just out of curiosity. Robert is wearing Dewar's version of Invasion Bar Bar. Bar Bar. Tammy. Tammy says that's a tasty one, Heather. Uh, so that's Batito Dali, which is a perfume aroma. Uh, Barry says, I've tried the Eternity Parfum for men and that was okay. Well, okay is just not good enough, is it, Barry? Heather says perfume aroma, it was good for an hour. Guess stuff doesn't stay with me. That's weird because I find perfume and Roma really thick and heavy, very oily on the skin, lasts generally quite well, but I haven't tried that many from the range. Um, okay, right, I probably should maybe smell some of these Majda Bacalis, seeing as that's what I've enticed you all in with. But um, if you haven't shared already your drink of the night, your snack of the night, or your scent of the night, do so now. If you're secretly watching and not commenting, you should know the rules by now. I need you to sign in. It's a health and safety requirement. You do need to sign in. Just give me, even if you send a little emoji, that's all we need, just to know that you're here. And then we know if there's a fire or a gas leak or the cat turns rogue, then I can make sure I count you on the register out in the car park <laughs> and then we're going to smell some Majda Bacali so Heather says oh confetto stays forever on me Joss's scent of the day is Juicy Couture the original and Tammy says surprising they're heavy musk based and last for hours on me uh, Heather says Forever Fragrant Kids Tammy, correct? Yes, Forever Fragrant Kids is Tammy. And Barry says a dairy milk bar with crunchy bits. Not sure what that means. Well, that's in relation. Oh, that's your snack. That's your snack of the night. Right, okay, with you, with you, Barry. Dairy milk with crunchy bits. That sounds really nice. Robert, I always talk and watch. No good being quiet unless you're in the cupboard. Well, you know, some people are shy, that's fair enough, but I just, for health and safety reasons, I just need you to sign in, and you can do that with an emoji. You don't have to actually give us words if you don't want to. You can just let us know that you're there. Um, John says, Barry's chocolate after midnight, there will be gremlins tonight. Mmm, chocolate. I've got, actually, uh, so I went on a nice, healthy, long walk, two-hour walk, thinking I'm going to walk some of this pizza off that I bought on my night shift. But then I stopped at the shop on the way back, got my Diet Coke to have with my vodka, but then I accidentally got sweet and salty popcorn and a packet of crisps, and they're over there. They're just over there. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Jimbo. Hi, Jimbo. Good evening, good people. Hello. Um, Heather. Prefers to address people with more familiarity. familiarity. Um, and Barry says, cheese and chocolate before bed improves your dreams. Hmm. I don't know about that. I think it's the opposite. Everyone's saying hi to Jim because everyone loves Jim. And Dave is having a cheeky cider. Cheers, Dave. Cheers to that. And greetings galore all around. Uh, looks like we have Valadina in the house because someone's saying hi to Bella. I can't see her comment. Might have got lost amongst it all. Oh, there she is. Hi, she says, hi Claire. Hi Valadina, nice to see you. So we've got a nice group of people as we always do in these lovely chats. So 
let's smell some of these mashed avocados because I did kind of promise that. So let's do it. I'm just going to randomly pick one out. Actually, these samples are a, a matte finish paper. So they're absorbent. So I may as well just spray the actual card rather than a separate strip because the paper doesn't really have a scent anyway. So let's go for this one. It's called Ten Tendre et la Nuit, i.e. Tender as the Night. So we we'll spray it in there. It doesn't have any notes on it. I've got so many here, I'm not going to look up the notes. If anyone wants to do so, I'm more than happy for you to do that and share them with everyone. Uh, if you can't be asked, fair enough. It's all, um, we'll do whatever we want here. That's what it's all about. So, Tondre et la Nuit. Oh, it smells like an ambery incense. It's very nice, actually. Okay, I'm just checking comments. Oh, Katrine, have to go to bed. Goodbye. Bye, Katrine. Thanks for popping in. And I think mostly you're talking amongst yourself, so that's okay. Robert says he usually gets mental dreams when he eats cheese late at night. Um, I don't really eat cheese late at night, apart from pizza, which I've just had a slice of actually. So may, who knows? Or I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens. See if I notice anything. Okay, so, uh, tondra est la nuit. I really don't know how to describe it. It smells like incense, it smells ambery and sweet. Possibly a little bit of rose. Definitely some resins, as most ambers would be. Hint of smoke, but not too smoky. Really quite pretty, actually. A good name, tender is the night. Very cosy. Quite like that. I might try that one on skin in a bit. That's that's really nice. So tende, tendre et la nuit. Doesn't say whether it's an eau de parfum or what. But yeah, I like that one. So that's incense and ambery. Heather says I enjoy ambery scents. Uh, Robert says, can you say that again? I don't know what I said. Uh, Valadina says it's an Arabian house. Um, right, so too late to la. That was the reason I wanted to explore the house in the first place. And I have tried this now a few times. And I have to say, I like the opening because it does smell like marzipan. But to me, the marzipan doesn't hang around very long. And then it gets quite leathery. And I don't really like things to get too leathery. So based on that opening notes, it smells really a lot like a marzipan. So I would guess a heliotrope is in here, giving it that powdery almond-like feel. But just from memory, it goes quite leathery quite quick and loses that beautiful marzipan opening. This has actually got some words in it. Too late, too la is a leathery blonde suede fragrance. Starts with marzipan accents, a specific Toledo pastry made with almond and honey. Yeah, I could literally eat that happily. It evokes the poetry of cherry blossom on the edge of the Tagus River, the cadenced trot of a racy alazan. I lost it on the last sentence. I'm guessing uh, that's talking about a horse. I think it's about a horse. Anyhow, the opening is beautiful. It's absolutely edible. But I know for a fact it don't last long enough. Not for me. But we'll come back to it. I'll pop it down here. You can always come back to it and see. See what happens. Baladina says it's an Asian slash Arabian slash Middle Eastern house. Wow. Um... Okay, so we'll smell something else. I'll just check that I'm not missing any comments. And Joss says, toilet cleaner is the fragrance of 2020. I think probably right there. Toilet paper. 
or hand sanitizer. So let's try the next one. Oh, that says tender as la nuit again. Is that the same as that? Yeah, it looks like we've doubled up there, so I've got the same, same one there. Oh, that says tender. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they're different concentrations, but this one also says tender as la nuit. Um, yeah, I think they've given me a few tender at la nuit, so we'll throw that down there too. Uh, so there's not as many here as I perhaps made you think. Right, this one's called Mon Nom et Rouge. I actually did have a decant of this. Now this is a shiny, shiny paper, so there's no good me spraying the paper. I'm going to have to spray a strip. I did have a decant of this. Um, it wasn't what I expected and I didn't really like it that much, but I haven't smelt it in a long time. So let's try again. Mon Nom et Rouge. My name is Red. Mon nom est rouge. Yeah, I don't really like this one. It's not bad, it's a bit sharp. Um, so this one, I believe it's a rose fragrance. It's rose, it smells a little bit like um eucalyptus or something a little bit medicinal like Vicks Ra Vapor Vapor Rub. No, we don't need that, do we? Vapor Rub. Vicks Vapor Rub or Tiger Balm, that kind of thing. Still incensey and ambery, but in a different way. It's sharper, pencil sharpenings and incense. And Vicks Vapor Rub and Tiger Balm and Pepper and Spices. It's actually better than I remember. So my nose might have changed a little bit to think that this is actually much nicer than I remember it. Excuse me, I hope you didn't hear that. Um... Rich says, where's Senor Smelly tonight? Uh, will he be in his flat, which is, where's his flat? It's kind of like that direction. We could throw a stone and almost reach his flat, really. Yeah, Mon Nom et Rouge, it's kind of like papery as well, like papyrus or something. I don't think, we, no, we don't have any notes and slightly vanillic and resinous again but i don't know it's just not what i expected it's quite good though it's just not quite me it's very menthylated very menthylated Right, a for realist is here. Hi, he's wearing a Guerlain's L'Ambidil Cologne. That's a really nice fragrance. I like that one. So let's see if we've got something else to smell. Je fais un rêve clair. It's got my name on it. Je fais un rêve clair. Um, so I think there's a couple of je fais un rêve clair, I believe. In French, I should really know what the word Claire means in French because it's my name. Usually means bright. I think it means bright, which some might argue is the opposite of what I'm like. I think it's like clear, bright, light. So this is called Je fais une rêve. Claire. Oh, this is quite nice. And I just says, I think it means clear. Yeah. And I think rev, rev means dream, doesn't it? Is that right? Je fais un rêve. So I have a dream clear or bright. I think that's what it means. 
which says about Dan, I think his idea for a Saturday night, uh, oh, I keep, it's, keep skipping, um, Saturday night chat show is brilliant, to be fair, as long as he gets different people on each week. Yeah, I think he's planning on doing that. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be really good. But hopefully you can get some different people on, keep it interesting. That'll be really great. Now this is really smooth. Je fais une rêve clear. It's really smooth, woody, papery, slightly vanillic. It's like wearing a clean lotion, but a little bit peppery, a touch spicy. It's quite nice, quite nice. It's not, it's not grabbing me though, but it is really nice. Yeah, very smooth, papery, woody. If, before I smelt whispers in the library, if this was given to me and I was told this is whispers in the library, I would say, oh yeah, I can, I can totally see that. So it is making me think of a library with wooden shelves and old books. It smells a bit like old books vanillic and woody. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Uh, Fraser, what do you think of Demi Rawlings reviews? If anyone wants to say what they uh, think of Demi's reviews. Um, haven't watched for a little while. Um, I, I find uh, her reviews are a little bit more tailored towards men or uh, there's quite a lot of Parfums de Mali which isn't really my thing so I, I have to be honest don't watch too much I watch more of the smaller channels myself like like myself you know um, and some of the bigger guys too of course but Rich says, take a sip of my D-squared potion, it'll make you fall in love. Do you want me to sing that to you, Rich? Take a sip of my D-squared potion, I'll make you fall in love. How's that then? Uh, oh, Kelly, Kelly Joy Valignotta is in the house. Hi, Kelly. Um, um, just says to Fraser, I like Demi, but our tastes seem to have diverged. What she reviews nowadays is out of my price range. Um, Heather says, creamy almond, question mark. Uh, was that the one I was smelling? Let's have another smell. Oh, no, I don't think it's that. Oh, that's it. Yeah, maybe a little bit, if, if that's what you mean. Maybe a little bit, but not, not blatantly. It's not like, uh, it's definitely not heliotrope scent. It's a less sweet almond if there is almond in here. More of a woody almond. Scott's here, says he's sorry he's late. Well, better late than never, Scott. And you'll have to stay behind and do some lines. Um, and I'm not saying what Robert has just said about Demi's videos. Uh, because um, he's rude, I think. Uh, Rich says she's an advertiser, not a reviewer. John says, even if Scott the Night is still young, isn't it? What? Let's do something crazy. Shall we go skinny dipping? We'll need to build a pond or something first. Psych. Mm. So Co C Carter says, Does anyone have office for men? I don't. Um, uh, Barry says, You last that long, Robert. Um, Just says, Claire, you can sing. <laughs> Thanks, Joss. I will. Um, sorry, just reading your comments. 
Jim says, did I move my chair to a different room in the house? No. What I did, Jim, is I got plastered. So that brick is behind this plaster. Um, one of my friends is a plasterer and there's, we're still able to work at the moment. We're still allowed to work. Though obviously uh, we kept our social distance and he came in the other day and plastered all the walls nice and smooth. So that's gonna be wallpaper of some crazy, crazy design. I might show you. I'm gonna show you what might go on this wall, but it's not set in stone. It's not. So let's see if I can find it, that is. Oh, here it is. <laughs> It's not going to be to everybody's taste, but I'm thinking of putting that on the wall. Let me know what you think. Is it too much? Is it too busy? It will obviously be straight. I'll have someone put it up for me. Is that crazy or what? It's um, Emma Shipley for Clark and Clark. Emma Shipley does beautiful, crazy, Crazy designs, lots of detail. I've got zebras. I think zeb some some things have unicorn horns and all sorts. So yeah, I really love it. So I'm thinking of putting that up. Let me know what you think. Rich says there's a lot going on in that wallpaper. I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, Robert says, I have a kimono like that. Um, Tammy says, it might be busy, but whatever you like. Um, Joss says, if you like it, you should do it. I like it too. Um, Jim says, I'm the worst at interior decorating. Barry says, the Tiger King wallpaper. Shrek de Vries. Hi, Shrek. Uh, he says, add some plants, make it a jungle. Yeah, the thing is I will kill it. Any plants will die under my really terrible supervision. But yeah, that's the one I'm looking at at the moment. But there's a few that I'm playing with, but they're all busy. They're all really busy. They're all really bright. They're all really colorful. They're all really crazy. So whatever happens, this is not gonna be plain. Trust me, this is gonna be mental. So it looks like I've only got two more frags left to smell because some quite a few of them turned out to be duplicates. Oh. Has anyone tried any of these Madge de Bacali fragrances? The next one's called Fusion Sacre Obscure. Fusion Sacre Obscure. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Uh, Shrek says plastic plants even better. Yeah, but then they gather dust. <laughs> I don't like any maintenance at all. Uh, Fusion Sacre Obscure. Jim says never heard of this brand. Rich says get some Willy Wonka scratch and sniff wallpaper. Where can I get that from, Rich? I'm well up for it. And John says cats like to leave little presents in house plants too. Oh yeah, don't encourage sweetie. She's already too lazy. She'd rather not go out if possible. Oh, this is different. Crikey, how on earth do I explain how this smells? This is really interesting, but I do not know what I'm smelling here. Fusion Sacre Obscure. Right, how do I, how on earth do I describe this? There's something in here that's quite familiar that I'm not pinpointing right now. Um, it's making me feel like it's a bit boozy. Boozy and a bit sugary. kind of bright but it's not a blatant fresh citrus friend friend it's not a blatant fresh citrus fragrance it does smell like a shot of a liqueur like a, uh, imagine a yellow liqueur 
it smells yellow, Ye like rich yellow, rich, thick, and gloopy. Almost banana-y. Yeah, this is weird. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I might have to look up the notes because this is really weird. In a good way. But this is not like anything I've smelt before. Tammy says, is there a lang lang in here? I don't really know. It's, it doesn't smell natural. It doesn't smell like fresh flowers or fresh citrus. It smells like condensed stuff. Ah, oh, Jim, thank you, Jim. It smells like condensed, um, fucking hell, celery. <laughs> Caramel, rum, celery, coffee, vanilla, clove, licorice, lavender, cardamom, and about 10 other things. That makes sense, it really does. It smells, yeah, the Immortel, I would say, Rich, um, if there's Immortel in here, that's probably, He's giving it like that kind of syrupy yet herbal thing. And I can smell the lavender now, now I know it's there. So you've got that herbal dry lavender. It does remind me a little bit of Bond number no. nine's, um, no, I'm gonna forget the name. The one that smells like breakfast, pancakes, the, the Immortel one, kind of like that. Just says it's mincemeat pie. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's so random. It's actually quite nice. I think if you like lavender, I'd say lavender is one of the most noticeable notes. New Harlem, yeah, that's the one, Rich. It's got stuff in common with New Harlem, actually. Um, but if Jim hadn't just given me the notes, I don't think I would have picked out much. Only that I said it was boozy um, and there's rum, but yeah, it's very syrupy, syrupy and kind of syrupy and moist in that respect. Then with the dried herbal lavender and immortelle. So syrupy, moist and dry at the same time. Kind of weird, not sure I'd wear it. Not unpleasant at all, it's, it's quite nice. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelt in my life. Um, I have a feeling Dan might like this. I think if you like your lavenders, you might enjoy this. Cleopatra, even celery in the top notes. Yeah. So when the fragrances have gone off, they smell like celery to me. So I would never think that you'd want to put celery in a fragrance because that's almost going to make people think, oh, it's turned. Hmm. That's interesting. It's quite lavender heavy, actually. Lavender heavy and syrupy. It's touch boozy. Quite condensed with that sort of slightly sweet sweet syrupiness strange strange but some people might like that not something i would necessarily wear but i have a feeling i'm going to pass that one on to dan because he, li he likes his lavenders he might like that uh, tammy says any similarities to eau noir i don't think i know that one tammy sorry um Rich is singing a song about celery. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got one more left. Let's have a little sip of my drink and then we'll do the last one. Oh, so this one's called Tender S La Nuit again. So why did they send me so many of the same? Are they all the same? Tender and la nuit. They're all the same. So I've got four, uh, four samples of tender and la nuit. Let's go back to it though, because 
It was kind of interesting. That's not, that's not the one I'm afraid. Mm -mm. That's the one. Yeah, so it's quite a nice ambery incense. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Bengal Rouge from Papillon. But this is sharper, it's not as smooth. I don't like it anywhere near as much. It's quite dry. Maybe there's some cumin in here as well, which is not a note that I really enjoy. It's a spicy, ambery incense. Doesn't really excite me that much. It is quite nice, but a bit dry. Um, uh, ben Talking Senses Bengal Rouge is a belter, isn't it? Just, I love it. The the way that it changes on your skin, how long it lasts, how cosy it is. So good. Yeah, this is nice. Tender Elanui. It's nice, but I won't be writing home about it. Uh, Barry says, I love cumin in cooking, but it can be a bit much to smell. Yeah, I enjoy it in cooking. I think it adds, uh, it adds something to Indian cooking, curries and stuff like that, definitely. But in fragrances, it does bring a little bit of the bio. I think um, Portrait of a Lady's got a little bit in there and I wish it would bugger off. I think Portrait of a Lady would be better without it. Maybe if they could just add a different spice or something. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of cumin. And uh, Jim's the same, one of my least favorite fragrance notes. Yeah, I really don't like it. Uh, Scott does a great chicken chili with cumin. So when this uh, ban is lifted, Scott, can we all pile around yours for a curry? And Heather uses cumin in chili. Yep, yeah, cumin in cooking, absolutely. I've always got a pot of cumin in my kitchen. But, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> but in fragrance, cumin can bugger off. Rich says, if you like cumin in a scent, try Persian Saffron by Zegna. It would be so much nicer without it, though. There's so many fragrances. The cumin just needs to bugger off. I don't know why people feel this need to put cumin in a fragrance. It smells like BO, people. It really does. Just do without it. Put it in your food and take it out of your fragrances. That's what I think. Having a rant here. Just says, Rich, why are you yelling? <laughs> he always does that. He gets excited, don't you, Rich? Doesn't take a lot. Uh, Cleopatra, me is half Turkish and half Iranian. We use a lot of cumin. And Jim says that's just Rich's way. It is, yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, Rich says to Ben, if you want to buy my Persian saffron, Lettuce, no. I love how you use the word lettuce. Tammy says, I feel you Claire, it's true, but I did like it in Kingdom by McQueen. I haven't tried that. I've heard really great things about Kingdom, but I haven't tried it. And then when I read the description, I thought I probably wouldn't like that. Rich is now shouting. <laughs> Olfactory Records says, oh, I never got to smell Kingdom. Yeah, there's a lady in one of our fa fragrance groups, uh, Melissa, and she absolutely loves Kingdom. She wore it when she got married and she has backup bottles and it's her most favourite scent ever. So she really talks very highly of it. So I looked it up thinking maybe I'll try and track down a bottle, but the notes don't sound like my thing at all. And Tammy says it's not for everyone. Rich, I, I've got a couple of fragrances by Steve McQueen. Nothing like what you think. Okie dokie. Um, right, so we smell everything. Do you want to look at my new book? My new old book. 
uh, so I got this book off of Amazon the other day and the illustrations are by Una Woodruff she has the most beautiful illustrations one of my favorite books from childhood was called Cat Witch and had the most beautiful illustrations by Una Woodruff this book's from the 80s, it got released in the 80s. It's kind of like a fantasy book about uh, a lady that finds herself in Atlantis. But, you know, uh, is it Atlantis? Um, but it just has, so it's from 1981. So there's a little bit of story and then the most stunning, absolutely stunning pictures it's very much a very easy flick through look at the pictures enjoy and I'm going to use the pictures as backdrops for perfume bottles mm -mm -mm. just really really beautiful like I would have tattoos based on these pictures I just think they're stunning so we are going completely off tangent here but, you know, I know some of you are into different stuff, you're into art and stuff, so uh, why not share this with you? I've got another book illustrated by Una Woodruff on its way, another, I think it's from the 80s, called Witches. It's like a history of witches. It's written by someone else called Colin. I can't remember his surname. Colin Wilson, I think, could be wrong. Um... So it's like a history of witches, but illustrated by this same lady. And I just love it. I absolutely love it. It's just so beautiful. For me, it's an absolute pleasure to have a little flick through. Um, oh, well, the book's called Amarant. So it's Amarant. Amarant. And the, right, the illustrator's Una Woodruff. So she was actually born in my county here in Kent and then at uh, four years old she moved I think to Wales but yeah stunning stunning book I love it um, so the stupid cat is at the door can you hear her going she's got her own door Literally just round there. Sweetie. Go around the other way. Go around the other way. Right, sorry, just catching up with your comments. Heather says cool pictures. Yeah, I love I just love them. They're just so gorgeous. Um Centralised Barry says, has anyone watched the Netflix series called Perfume? No, I think I, I read the book. That's the um, the guy that sort of tinctures humans and stuff, isn't it? I think, I, yeah, I read the book. Kelly says, I really enjoy your channel. I just received an example of Lune Feline after listening to your review and I can't wait to pick up a bottle. It's divine. It's gorgeous, isn't it? We love Lune Feline. Robert says, art and literature, it's my pet hate in general knowledge quizzes. I'm no bad on the rest. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to say you hate art and literature <laughs> all, all together. Yeah, I'm not, I couldn't. If you asked me anything about anything, anything, I'm, I'm no good at quizzes. Um, there's a few things I know, but not a lot. <laughs> uh, first episode is called Ambrose. Yeah, I am intrigued. Barry, so it's not the uh, based on the book then, is it like a documentary? Oh, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Hello, Carlos. Carlos is in the building. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing all right. Um, Heather's watched too much Netflix. Out of things to watch. Oh, dear. Um, Joss has been watching us... So my cat, she's now she's on the windowsill outside. 
Oh, I'm gonna have to let her in because she seems to have forgotten where her cat flap is. Sweetie, come on, I'll show you how to get in. Come on, this way. So she was on the windowsill and when I called her in that door over there, she literally back backtracked, sh sh shuffled backwards all the way along the windowsill and then jumped down. She's actually a div. Aren't you, sweetie? She is a div. Bless you, sweetie. Now she's sneezing. God, I hope she hasn't caught that fucking disease. <laughs> Um, Jim says to Robert, no comment about the cat flap. Yeah, I wondered, I wondered. She's, she's coming over now. Here she is. Hello, sweetie. Um, uh, so Barry says the perfume series is about a murder of a singer which reunites five former friends with an obsession for scent. That sounds really good. Okay. Right, can you hear the cat? Shall I show you? She's washing herself. Oh, she stopped now. Here she is. Here she is. What's the matter? Oops, she's on my lap now. No, that's not my right angle. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry about that. I hope I'm not making you all dizzy. Come on then, sweetie. Get on my lap. Come on. Oh, she goes. Oh, she can't knock my drink over. Oh, <gasps> saved. Saved it. Oh, sweetie. She gets um. She gets really needy. I think the lock. It's a lockdown is affecting her. <laughs> Carlos says, hey sweetie, say hello to Carlos, sweetie. Can you say hello to Carlos? Hmm? She's purring away. Can you hear her? Old Factory Records says, have you tried Molecule 5 yet? No, which one's that? What's the... What's the molecule in molecule five? That's not the vetiver one, is it? So that's a new one, isn't it? I'm just gonna pull. There we go. You can stay in, you can be in the video now, can't you, darling? Um, Robert says, I actually watched Ragnarok series. It's Norwegian, but it's brilliant. And after the first episode, it's got green light for a series two. Okay. I still don't have a TV. I might rectify that. Um, Barry says the singer that was murdered had her scent glands removed from her body. Oh my God, I want to watch that. That sounds really fun. Ben says, Carlos, you left the best typo on my Insta the other day. I think you meant to type, does your wife like it on you? But you wrote, does your wife like it in you? Oh, that's brilliant. Well done, Carlos. <laughs> um, Old Factory Records says the new Molecule 5 is supposed to be cashmere. That would actually be interesting to smell because I haven't smelt that isolated before. So I'd be curious to see what that's like purely on its own. I think um, the Molecule fragrances are actually brilliant for perfume lovers that want to smell things on their own. So if you don't know what Ambroxan smells like, then you can go and smell the Molecule one. I can't remember which, which number it is. Two is it? I can't remember. Uh, there's a Vetiver one. 
Uh, obviously isomer super is molecule one, but it just gives you that opportunity to smell something completely isolated. And then you can start to understand how it, how it works in all the fragrances that you always smell it in. You don't necessarily pick it out. John Snow says, Robert, watch Norseman, that's in Norwegian, and there's an English version, I think it's very, very funny. Uh, Karloff says, my bad. <laughs> Do you like it in your wife? <laughs> oh, funny. Ben says, what's worse, I don't have a wife, but I like to imagine my pretend wife loves it in me. <laughs> oh. Uh, Barry Centralized says, don't Zara do cashmere and then other molecule versions? Oh, I don't know. Does anyone know about that? <laughs> uh, Joss says, I've got to run. Thanks for the chat, everyone, and stay well. Nice to see you, Joss. We'll see you very, very soon. Look after yourself. Mm. So I'm probably going to head off in a minute myself. I don't want to stay up too late because then I mess myself up for turning it around for day shifts. So when it comes to days, I start at half six in the morning. I used to have to travel to work first. So I used to get up about quarter past five and now I only have to walk down the stairs and I don't have to get dressed or anything. So <laughs> I love that. I love that. But still, um, I don't want to stay up too late now because it's going to be, then I won't get up early enough tomorrow. And then before you know it, it's going to be an actual arse ache to try and get up on Thursday morning for half six. Well, it'll be earlier than half six. Rich says, any recommendations for saffron fragrances? Um... Anyone got any recommendations on a saffron fragrance for Rich? Uh, Carla says, Claire, today would have been eight days away from us meeting in person. I know, gutted. We will meet Carlos. It's going to happen. It's uh, just not going to happen this uh, this month, unfortunately. But we will definitely meet. It's, it's in the stars, I see. I think. Barry says, Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh, for a saffron fragrance. Oh, hang on. Hold up. I've got no battery. Right. Sorry about that. I might have just frozen. Um, uh, Tammy says, Lattes and Saffron Tubulant. Uh, Jim says, I would love to see a Carlos and Claire video. Do you know what? We would have a bit of fun, I think, me and Carlos. What do you reckon, Carlos? We'd do a bit of a collab. Maybe we can do a live stream. We can come together across the across the oceans. We have a little liquid a liquidization, lubrication. Our oh, Benjamin's here from Centitar and he's recommending Oud Saffron by Montel. Uh, Rich says Baccarat Rouge 54 is not good in my opinion. Ben saying, Sospiro's Water Cena, Soapy Saffron, but imagine Black Afghano with Rose and Saffron, and you're there. Uh, Robert says, I'm hoping you have plenty of batteries. I need them, Robert, actually, yeah. Uh, calligraphy Saffron, says Tammy. Yeah. So there's some Saffron for it. I'm I don't know if there's saffron in that Louis Feline. I feel like there might be a little bit. It kind of um, has that kind of spicy leatheriness that saffron can bring. Um, ben, maybe you know, I don't know if you've looked up the notes recently on Louis Feline. Has that got saffron in it? Um, Carlos is also voting for L'Artisan Saffron Troublant. Uh, Rich says that is interesting. Did Douche 4 do it? Anyone know? I oh, did most of them, didn't he? Hmm. Uh, oh, uh, Tammy says Olivia Giabetti did it. There you go. There you go, you see. So I really am going to have to go. 
it's nice to see you all. Thank you all for coming along. Um, Scott is saying Mancera backed black has saffron, but I can't get on with it. Uh, ben says it's not on for a grand ticket, but it does have that kind of edge with the cardamom, doesn't it? Yeah, so Lumphaline, it feels like it's got a bit of saffron in it, whether it does actually or not, is another matter. But you might like it, Rich. You never know. Um, Rich says, Gia Betty knows his stuff. Oh, I thought it was a woman. <laughs> is it not Olivia? Um, Benjamin says, Lymphaline has cardamom. Yes, it's got it's got a good dose of cardamom in it. A nice spicy, rich cardamom. Tammy says, lovely to catch you, Claire. Great to see you all. Good night. Uh, Carlos says, good night, darling. Let's do that live. Yeah, let's do it. Um, you message me and we'll plan something in, Carlos. So let's do it. It'll be a laugh. Uh, Dave, thanks Claire, take care everyone, look after yourselves, yes, absolutely, um, everyone, as always, look after yourselves, I hope you're doing okay, and I will see you all very, very soon, bye, I might just um, put the camera on my cap before I turn the live off, because I know you all like a little bit of sweet tea, so we'll do that. Oh. There she is. Now we're going to make her make a noise. Are you ready? Oh, she didn't do it. There she is. Isn't she lovely? Aren't you lovely, Fifi? Now she's going to lick the chair. <laughs> She's like a special needs cat. <laughs> no, she's licking me. If you scratch her, you can make her lick stuff. Right, that's enough. Bye, everyone.